Tarapa State Governor Abu Kafis has cautioned against the vandalization of government properties as anyone found wanting will face the wrath of the law. The governor was speaking after inspecting the Maribon Greenhouse facility, which he says will be resuscitated. The once operational state-owned greenhouse facility, which used an advanced irrigation system to cultivate varieties of fruits and vegetables, has been a shadow of itself for some years now. The facility is also under threat of destruction, with its continuous vandalization by unknown persons. Taraba State Governor Agwikefas was on an inspection tour of the facility, which he says will be resuscitated in line with his administration's goal to minimize the wastage of government resources. He is also optimistic that it will boost the internally generated revenue base of the state when it becomes operational. Governor Kefas also gave out a stern warning to those vandalizing the greenhouse and other government facilities to desist or they will not be spared. I don't think Lack of uh, payment is what left the cause of this place. So, uh, probably it was mismanagement that led to lack of uh, payment. So, like, ideally, if a good administrator, you have to uh, look into the future. Once you know that there are problems, you start downsizing. You know, you can't pay salary, you call the establishment. And uh, for them to vandalize, uh, some of these things is criminal, so we're going to set up an investigation get to get to know those that were involved in the vandalization. And I'm sure we're going to get them and that they'll bring them back what they pay. Then if uh, some of them that were working here are also part of the vandalization, we'll deduct it from their outstanding. But they must come back and work until this place picks up before they can pay anybody's salary. We can't pay salary from where there was no anything kept. The greenhouse before its closure was also a source of employment for hundreds of youths in Taraba State. Lamini Chuye, AIT News, Jalingo.